and welcome back to MD Globe Muscle here at the On The Rise Media Studio with me, your host, Giles Thomas. And we're joined, oh my god, finally got him, did his pro debut, Carlos Thomas Jr. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Giles? What's up, Derek? How you guys doing? Mate, great, man. We're great. Mate, it's so good. Because obviously we spoke a few months ago where you um, unfortunately had to pull out of the New York Pro. You know, and you, you, because yes. I mean, you even got a bit emotional about it, because I think you were so disappointed that you had to pull out. Um, there was so much anticipation around your pro debut. It was one of the most exciting parts of this Texas Pro, which for me has been probably the most anticipated show of the year. Mate, what was it like? How do you feel? Honestly, I was so excited to be backstage uh, at the show. I was, I was like, man, what do you do here? At your first pro show like <laughs> what's the backstage like like how is it like is it like so it was a great time uh i was just felt like a ball of energy which to probably my detriment was a little bit too much during prejudging because the excitement i could feel myself like being almost too excited <laughs> and it probably caused me to like be a little bit um nervous during the call outs but i felt that i i displayed a, a really good physique and it was fun i had a great time and you know shout out to freddie and um, Sheila at the, at the Battle Productions, you got, they put on a great show. It was amazing. It was ran so well, so efficiently. It was amazing. Mate, I, one thing I think, I, you said about the excitement. You know when you came up by yourself for your 60 seconds? Yeah. I felt you weren't holding your poses, mate. Yeah, you, no, yeah, exactly. You rushed. You rushed. I was like, no, it's your pro debut. Everyone's waiting. That front will bicep, you should hold that for about at least five seconds because that's your money shot. And you were like, you were rushing, you could see the adrenaline, you know? Yeah, I, I let it get to me a bit. I, um, I, I, was, I watched the tape back a little bit today, and I was like, man, I did not hold those long enough. Um, and I, yeah, I let, I let it get to me a little bit. But, you know, I had a great time. Good. Um, I, I really do uh, appreciate, you know, all the, the guys like Hunter and Andrew backstage, you know. They were really, um, really helpful, like, you know, coming off. You know, showing me like, okay, like just dab, you know, dab down a little bit if you had a little sweat here and there. Um, the pro tan, uh, ladies took good care of us. It was all around. It was a great show. Uh, so yeah, I did let the nerves get to me a little bit, but I felt at finals um, that they were gone. I felt really good, um, and I was, you know, was able to come back and 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 do another call out. I felt that it was a a better a better look, a tighter look than we brought to the uh, to the pre judging. Nice. I thought you were going to say nationals then. Um, so um, obviously you had to pull out of the New York Pro because you're, is it ulcerative colitis? Yes, yes. So just like I, I, IBS issues, yeah. um, as you could put, use as an umbrella term. So yeah, we, we pulled out of that and, uh, and got ready for this. And honestly, it, I was, it, was, it was a great decision um, you know, to be able to say something about persevering and pushing through. Um, I learned a lot about myself during this prep. And, you know, I was able to really come out the other end better for it mentally, you know, as a bodybuilder and, and, and physically. I think we brought a really good package for what we had to deal with um, coming out of the New York Pro Prep and, and uh, you know, kind of learning my, my stomach issues and getting those under control. So I thought we did a really good job with that. And, you know, mentally, um, you know, coming from that, you know, that almost defeated mindset and attitude I had because I felt so down about the New York Pro having to pull out of out of that um, and having the chance to, like I said, persevere, push through and, you know, do the pro debut at the Texas Pro, which was wonderful, you know, up against two heavy hitters, two Olympia, uh, two, two Olympians, top Olympians yep. and Hunter and Andrew. And, um, you know, I got a lot of great feedback from the judges. We know what to do. You know, we need to bring some density to that back again. Um, I thought the back was improved mm -hmm. and apologize if I'm rambling along, but no, 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 carry on, carry on, continue, mate, continue. I thought the back was improved, um, more so than Nationals, which is great. That's something we set out to do. Um, but we need to bring that density and, and keep working on getting that maturity happening and dialing in the conditioning, which I would like to credit my coach, Andrew Vu. He really took uh, an a, a anthill or a molehill and made a mountain out of it um, because we started off in a very rough position, and he was able to right the ship and turn it around. And we, I think we brought a really good package to the uh, Texas Pro. Do you know how much speculation there was around your back shots before the show? I, I think there was. A, I think there was a lot. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> we were, I think we were all. Were, I think we were all. What it was, we we're all so impressed by all the, the front double biceps and the side chests, 
And then we were like, well, we haven't seen a raidable bicep. We haven't seen a, a, a back. Well, what if he just turns around and there's nothing going on? We were all so worried. And then I said, and then I thought, well, hang on. His lats look absolutely enormous in his front double bicep. So I was hopeful. But thing is that we were all looking at videos and photos and trying to zoom in and, you know, but I, I looked at the shots mm-hmm. today and your back is good. Yes, it, there is room for improvement, but I thought, I thought your back was, your, especially your lat spread. I thought there was, it, it wasn't, it wasn't what I feared. Yes, yeah, and um, again, like, it could be brought up and it will be brought up. Um, you know, I think we have a great game plan moving forward uh, with, you know, um, Andrew and my, my trainer, Kyle Smith. Um, I think we're going to have a really productive offseason. Um, again, we pretty much got a lot of the uh, issues with my stomach under control. Last offseason, I had about two to maybe, th- like, two major flare-ups with, like, one minor one um, just giving me issues with main consist- maintaining consistency of eating that high amount of food. Um, so now that we've kind of got those things under control, you know, we can begin to, you know, build the food up coming out of this prep right now. And then, you know, we'll move into the off season, able to put on some quality size with the emphasis, of course, in the back. Um, I was told to bring up my glutes a little bit more to help match with the quads because the quads have become really crazy. (laughs) And, uh, (laughs) so we will, we will, we'll put some emphasis on bringing up the glutes as well. Uh Um, and, and just making sure that we're well balanced from top to bottom. And again, bringing that density in um, the conditioning will come. So the, the one thing I really want to know is, you know, you pulled out of the New York Pro because of the, the colitis and the problems you had. What changed mm-hmm. What changed from the New York Pro to this show? What did you do differently? Was it, what was it just added, added time on prep? What, what exactly did you change to, to kind of fix that issue or, or manage it? Well, you know, we were really just really locked in on on what to use as far as like vegetables and uh, protein sources. We lowered the protein uh, down from maybe around like two te- 200 to 230 grams of where it was before wow. down to around like 150 to 170 grams of cooked weight protein. Wow. I think it's around for five to six ounces. Um, and I worked really well with that, to be honest with you. So that was great. Um, and then we looked at the vegetable sources, um, you know, certain vegetables would give me like uh, bloating or gas. And I, I mostly used a lot of like, it, it's, it, and it'll be different for everyone who has experienced IBS and, U, and UC. But for me, I, 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 moved, I used mostly um, like bell peppers, green, green bell peppers, because that didn't upset my stomach. So we kept a lot of the food sources very simple, very plain, um, no crazy um, high amounts of protein, um, and it, it really worked well. Just a simple diet. It sounds like a, um, like like, a, like, a, like it's a standout answer, but um, it took a little trial and error to see what would work and you know right. what protein amounts we could get away with. Um, so yeah, that's something that we changed up a lot, and stress as well. Um, I personally found myself managing life stressors a bit better with you know um, work and. You know, also competing, um, I was able to manage stress a little bit more, which can also cause flare-ups. Um, and we also addressed my training um, as we went into this prep. I was doing a lot of intensifiers, um, and that itself can be a stress on the body um, and stressing out, again, like the body, the gut, and causing issues. So we really t- I just tried to find, like, okay, what, what things aren't working and nail it down from the training to the diet you know, to making sure that um, handling life stressors better. Uh, so it's really a holistic and well-rounded approach that we took uh, to make sure that we didn't have any issues with the gut. Um, so yeah, long, <laughs> long answer, longer. Uh, that's what we did. <laughs> so you say you're, you're managing your stress better. Uh, I think we'd all like to know how you manage that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's honestly, I credit it with like, you know, talking to Andrew every day. We, we talk every day on the phone. Um, and he's has become like a, a great like you know mentor for me of mm. of how to just like not kind of just like almost stoic not let things pay like, get to you pay you know if you control what you can control type of things yeah. um, and those are things that like I would let get to me and they would spiral and and you know I would stress about it but um, you know having Andrew uh, as an ear and as a person to you know open up to and um, also my trainer Kyle Smith. You know, he was a bodybuilder, so I can open up to him about, hey, like I'm stressed about how the, this this or something about the prep or maybe it was work or something. Um, so I have a good outlet of people. And I also go to see like talk therapy. So that's something that I've done that helped me manage my stress as well. 
Um, uh, and uh, hey, I, I'll be the first person to say it. Like I, I said, it works for me. Um, and, you know, I'll be open and honest about it, that uh, it's helped me deal with, you know, life stressors and a bit of anxiety a little bit better than I usually did in the past. So those are some things that I do. So is that like NLP or CBT or CBD? No, no, no. It's like talk, like talk therapy. Just talk therapy. Just talk, oh, okay, just like NLP therapy, therapy, not yeah. like that. Not, not yes. neuro linguistic yeah. programming. That kind of. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Because I, I had it for a year, a couple, few years ago, and it, it helped me greatly to really helped me unravel a lot of yes. stuff. You know. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. So um, that's something that we've been doing, and it's been helping out a lot. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it it's it's all been more of a holistic approach to, um, you know, managing my life stressors, managing you know, the diet, managing the training, everything, um, you know, to make sure that, you know, we got through this prep and brought the best thing I could bring without any issues from the gut. Good, good. Because everything start, everything comes from that area, doesn't it? Everything. It, it does. And, 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 you know, as I, when I was younger, I was kind of like, ah, oh, you know, bring gut brain health, you know, what, you know, the gut brain, like, it's okay. Like you can eat what you want to eat. Cause I was able to get away with eating things or yeah. I was able to get away with handling a little bit more stress and it not affecting my body part of me um but as i've gotten a little bit older <laughs> it's uh I, I could tell that things change as i've gotten older so you know we just have to handle it differently and that's what we've done and i've had a great uh you know great team with me to help see me through you know the trials and tribulations of you know navigating the uh the gut health and the gut issues and also a big shout out to dom astacio uh, dom super slice on instagram um you know he'll be ha helping me with my health phase coming out of this show as well so we'll make sure the gut is on point we'll make sure the health is on point you just mentioned about off season already are you not doing any more shows no we're shutting it down for the year oh wow uh, you know just one just one just one show that's it yeah oh no oh, yeah. okay 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 yeah we, we we know we have to do yeah. you know there's there's and honestly if i can't bang with these guys yet you know then i need to go back and get better uh because when I am able to, you know, take these top dogs down, then that means, hey, okay, we will be, you know, rocking, rocking at the Olympia. Yeah. Um, and, and I don't, I wouldn't have it any other way, you know, okay. I want to go, I want to compete against the best. Um, and I want to be the best. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're going back to the drawing board to do just that. And I think we're going to have a great off season. And uh, yeah, and you guys will see a better Carlos Thomas Jr. next year. Yeah, well. nice. nice. Oh, I, was, I was getting all excited because there's so many good shows over here in Europe. Yes, yes. And, and, we, and we thought about it. Um, we had a quick chat about it last night. And, you know, we, 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 we know what we can do. We know we, we want to go and, and, and bring up these improvements so that when it's we're on stage, you know, it's undeniable. And I know we can do it. I guess after what happened with the New York Pro, because I can imagine, I, you, I mean, you were, I, I spoke to you and you were really upset about having to pull out. It was really, it, you could see it was a really big deal for you. And then having to go on, an, on another couple of months more prep just to try and enough, make all these adjustments to try and just even get on the stage and look good. You know, I can see why, I can see why, you know, you've, you, you know, you're just, you're very, very happy that you finally made your pro debut. Yes, yes, I'm ecstatic. It, it's, it was you know, kind of like a monkey off the back type of feeling. Yeah. Where I was like, we did it, you know, we and we and we brought something respectable. Um, and I'm very, very, very happy about it. And I, like I said, I think that with this good off season that we're going to have, the progress we're going to make, um, you know, it's going to be a completely different look that we're going to bring. Um, you know, I, of course, we have the size, um, but, you know, emphasis on, again, you know, bringing up those body parts we talked about, the bringing the density to the back, you know, trying to, you know, help and, and gain that muscle maturity and also bringing up, you know, the glutes and laying off the quads a little bit. So, you know, putting <laughs> emphasis on different things. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I still want to bring my delts up a lot more. Really? I still want to continue to bring my chest up. Yeah. Okay. I, I still want to bring my upper body up to like really, really stand out, you know, against the legs. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's, uh, you know, something that uh, has, uh, it, it's, it's, it's not an imbalance, but it can be, it can be more balanced, you know, it can, it, we, we can, you know, t touch up the delts more. We can bring more chest, <laughs> of course, the thickness to the yeah. back. So I think that I th in, in the arms, of course. So I, I think that we can have a really good all season and, and next year is going to be um, a really good year for us. I would love to do the show again next year as well. Oh, wow. OK, that's oh, okay, cool. I, I tell you what, though, the ham drop, mate, that was something else. That was I think yes, I think your hamstring was actually <laughs> touching your calf. 
Yeah. It was, it was lit, honestly, Derek. It was literally. <laughs> hang, I'll show you some pictures afterwards. Have you had a chance to sh um, compare the pictures from this show to the Nationals yet, side by side? Uh, we haven't had a chance yet. Uh, just kind of briefly looked at it, um, but not like a side by side exact one. But I, I know that you know we we improved quite a bit uh, from Nationals, and I'm I'm excited. You know, I, I thought we we did a great job, and I couldn't be more happy with the outcome. Yeah. What did you wear on stage, mate? So yeah, uh, on stage I was in my two twenties, uh, probably like, like a yeah. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, after we sucked down. Yeah, I was in the two twenties and everything. So, um, I still have. I, I I can still improve and get bigger yeah. and, and grow. I thought you were about. I would have said about mid two forties. No, 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 no. Shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, it, 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 we have we have plenty of room to grow and and, and go ahead and, and make improvements. Um, you know, again, I don't want to sacrifice any, you know, the waist or the lines or anything like that for yeah. size. Um, but now it's just about refinement. So I think on stage, at like a good two thirty-five mm -hmm. uh, would be would be amazing for me. In condition, of course. Yeah. Um, in really good condition, I think that would be that would see the back filled out enough. Um, you know, and that would also see improvements in the areas that I mentioned, such as my my glutes, my chest, my shoulders. So, you know, I think if we could be around that, we could be very competitive to, to like around 230 to 235 um, in condition. So uh, I think we're going to have a great offseason. I can't I'm, I'm excited for it. Um, again, I'm very happy with the pro debut uh, and, and everything that, you know, we were able to do within the time we had. And you chose, like I said, you chose a really good show, didn't you, to do? I mean, what a, what a show to do a pro debut in. Man, I was a fan on the side watching these guys battle yeah. it out. I was like, Did, I had the best seats in the house. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it it was amazing. Like, you awesome. know, you see these guys, you know, I've watched, I, I went to the Texas Pro last year. I watched Andrew, you know, do, and, and I've seen him, you know, look like a statue, like from afar, you know, within like the, the VIP section. But to be up close and personal with this guy, it's amazing. And Hunter, the conditioning he brought, like, and to see these guys up close, it's like I, I, the fan in me just comes out because yeah. I just love bodybuilding. So it was amazing to be able to, to experience that as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, you know, bring a really good package next year that's going to be very compatible, compa like, competitive with these guys. And, uh so yeah, watch out. We'll be we'll be coming again. See, you could have gone for a, a arguably easier show. Do you know what I mean? But you you really made a yeah. debut in a show and really held your own in a really like you said you got n literally the number seven, number eight at the Olympia in the world, and you're literally right next to them. You know more than hanging. Yeah, and 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 that's what I wanted to do. You know, I was very happy to see that they were doing the show, and you know I I had confidence in what we were going to bring. And, you know, the other guys making their pro debuts, the Jordan Hutchinsons, the, the Jonathan yeah. Withers, you know, these are these are young guys who are really good. Jordan brought crazy conditioning. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, J Jonathan, you know, is bat came back after battling some injuries and some setbacks and was able to make his pro debut, um, you know, standing up there. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's been amazing. You know, it was great time. It was a great time to share the stage with these guys. And, um, you know, I wouldn't have wouldn't have it any other way, you know, to like do a show where it's very competitive mm -hmm. because I'm going to have to go against these guys at some point. I got to yeah, go against them. Yeah, at some point, chase you know? them. You may as well chase so, them now. Yeah, might as well get it just already now. Yeah. And then that way we know what we need to improve on mm -hmm. and we can go ahead and improve on that quicker instead of, say, we make it to Olympia off the back of a show that wasn't as strong. Um, and then we get our ass handed to get handed to us. Yeah. That's OK. Well, you could always say, well, I made it to Olympia. But I want to go into the Olympia and really make an impact yeah. and, 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 and show out. So I think with this one more off season that we can do, um, you know, building, building my metabolism up, building the body parts up and then coming into a starting a prep with like a really strong start, um, you know, managing my gut health throughout the off season as well. It'll be a different look um, that we'll bring next year. So, again, I'm a competitor. I'm going to pick the hardest show I can find. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think I think with um, uh, an improved back, improved conditioning, like you said, bring the glutes up a little bit. I think next year I could see you being doing like a Nick Walker going straight into the top six. I, I, yeah, I, I, I really, I mean, I think this year, I think you maybe, you, you, you'd, have, you'd have been at the Olympia, you maybe would have made top 15, 
But I think I think now you've seen your physique and you've you know you know exactly what you need to do. I think with a good good year, like I said, I I could literally see you going straight into the top six next year. Thank you, thank you, Josh. I appreciate that. Um, and that's going to be the goal. That's going to be the goal is to go in and to to make a big splash and to hang with those that the top six, top five guys. Yeah. Um, because I know it's there. I know it's there. It, it, it's it's one thing when people tell you, but now to see it um, and to to see like, okay, yeah, we're we're there. We just need to continue to keep working and put those put the head down, you know, and just grind it out. And you know, it'll all come and fall into place soon enough um, with you know the consistency. So uh, it, it really illuminated the potential to myself. A lot of people always tell me about it, but now I see like, okay, man, you're right there. Yeah. So let's 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 keep let's keep going. Don't let up over, off the gas. And um, you know, next year will be a really good year. It's, it's, I spoke to you the day after you won your pro card, didn't I? You did. Day after, yeah. The day after you won the nationals, Derek. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping to bring away. I was hoping to come away with like a possible win, man. Oh, it's all good. But and then Andrew Jackson, you know, freaking Hunter, too. turned up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Right now, I'm gonna uh, before I let you go, I'm gonna throw over a question to Derek. Uh, question: how, how so? How are you supporting yourself, man? I mean, are you, you said you got another job. You got a job as well. Do you have yeah, a yeah, yeah. Anything like that. Yeah, yeah. So I have like Project AD is my sponsor. Yeah. I'm Rebel. Um, they're my sponsor as well. Um, University of Pennsylvania is the day job that I do. Um, but uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm going to start some online coaching as well. Just trying to you know increase streams of revenue as I get you know more into bodybuilding. My brand builds up a little bit. Um, just trying to take advantage of that on top of you know those things that I already have in place um, and continue to build um, my brand. Um, so that's what I'm excited for as well as the off season. Um, you know, really building up myself as a bodybuilding athlete, guest poses. I would love to do some more of those. I've been reached out from a, a couple of um, promoters reached out to me to do some guest posing for next year. So, um, you know, we'll be delving into that, delving into, you know, branding and merchandising coming up soon. Um, like I said, um, going to dabble in some online coaching. Um, you know, these are all things that uh, I've had in the back of my mind during this prep that I'm excited to tackle now, um, as well as, you know, tackle the, ch you know, the chance to improve my physique, but, you know, also just come away, you know, better as like a bodybuilder, building my brand and uh, setting myself up for the future. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome. Yeah. Right, Carlos, I'm going to let you get back to your breakfast. Do you see you had it? Or <laughs> yes, you... sir. <laughs> well, hopefully it's there by the time I'm done now. I'm pretty sure they delivered it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I didn't want to keep you too long, man. I said I'd keep it to 20 minutes. It's okay. So. I, can stay, I can stay on here all day with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to let you go, mate. But um, yeah, like I said, it's just, um, I was really, I was so excited about your pro debut, mate. It was, um, it was something Thank else. Um, so I was really, yeah, really anticipated. And, you, you know, I think you did a really good job. I think you can be very, very happy and very satisfied that you've finally done Thank it. You. You've chalked that first move up, you know, that first big step, you know, it's out the way. And you've already got your plans now for your off season for them to come back for next year. But um, yeah, what an exciting addition to the pro ranks, mate. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. And I always appreciate you guys' support um, over here at Muscular Development. Um, so thank you guys. And um, if you ever, 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 ever want to have me on again, I'm available anytime you need me, John. I always have a great time here. Awesome. And also a big hi to your dad as well, because uh, Mr. Senior. Of course. Yes, sir. <laughs> he's, he's, in, he's in the restaurant as well. I'll tell him. Oh, indeed. Nice. Right. <laughs> okay, then, mate. Right. Well, thank you so much for coming to Big Global Muscle, mate. And I will speak to you very soon. Thank you. See Thanks, you guys. Man. Take Thanks, care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, man. I'm joined all the way from sunny LA, the two-time Texas Pro Champ, Andrew Jacked. Yes, sir. No, it's not <laughs> sunny here in LA. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. Really? Yeah, but it's okay. Wow. Okay. So when did you get back yesterday? Yeah, I go back yesterday. Like, I had to fly out very early at 4 a.m. because um, I've, got, I've got things to take care of uh, here and also at work back in Dubai. So, yeah. I just got off the phone even, and um, that was why I'm pretty late a little bit, but I'm sorry about that, yeah? It's all right, mate. It's all right. Um, well, first of all, mate, absolutely fantastic job on the weekend, mate. How do you feel? Oh, awesome. 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 I feel, I feel, I feel great. I feel good. I feel good. Yeah, I feel, I feel okay. Uh, for me, that was by far your best package. Much better than the Arnold Classic on the first day. I just, I mean, you looked, um, for me, I think the biggest improvements I noticed dramatically was your back. 
Yes, um, because I think uh, I'm still a work in progress, and uh, me and the me and the guys were still trying to like, uh, you know, just uh, 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 we're still trying trying to, you know, like get everything put in place. Um, for the Arnold, it was more like being conditioned. Yeah, and we got that checked on the box for this prep. It was more like trying to get that back, you know, like come up a bit. So that's check on the box. So for the Olympia, heading towards the Olympia, I think uh, the focus now would be the hamstrings bigger, the glutes tighter, and, uh, you know, you know, just here. Yeah. And slowly, slowly, we'll now be able to get an overall uh, uh, work done on me. But, but, but now we're just hitting one, it's brick by brick, we're hitting one step at a time. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I, I said to, um, I think I said to Ron yesterday. I said, Ron, I said, go back and look at those Arnold Classic Amateur, which was what March last year. Yeah. I mean, have you actually, actually, have you actually put those photos side by side yet to compare? Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> like, like matter of fact, fact, yeah, I put, I put, I put, you know, I put all the shows I did. I put the uh, the amateurs, the Texas of last year, the uh, Arnold UK, the. I didn't put the Olympia because I didn't do anything at the Olympia because I wasn't feeling too good and I was just on maintenance. I was just just trying to just stay in shape. So yeah. I don't care that. I don't care that. But I put the Arnold and I put this one together. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, because you, I mean, I spoke to you at the Olympia and you were, you could barely speak, couldn't you? You were really yeah. like, you were, what, what was that, flu or something? Or I think it was everything. I think it was COVID. It was flu. It was it was everything. It was uh, it was because the moment I landed on the on the eleventh of November from the fifteenth, I I was sick until when I traveled back after the after the Olympia. And funny enough, I traveled back to Dubai, and even mid flight, I started to feel okay. So that was when I knew uh, wow. something from yeah. Wow. Yeah. So when yeah. did you, when did you go back to LA? Obviously to be trained by Psycho Fitness. When did you go back, and when do you go back now? Or are you staying in here till the Olympia now? No, um, no. Like I'll be I'll be heading back. Uh, I think this weekend back to Dubai, and then I just have to regroup. I've got work to take care of from personal things and um, you know stuff to handle there. And then I think I'll just be there for a couple of weeks, and then. Uh, I'm looking at third or fourth week of September. I'll be back, and then we continue because uh, we don't have much time on our hands. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you got the win in as well because I didn't. You know, otherwise you'd have had to have gone to Legion, and then that's another six weeks. It really would have messed up the whole Olympia prep, wouldn't it? No. Um, for me, for me, it, it was. Texas or nothing. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I laid yeah. on my, I laid my eggs in in Texas. I'm like, I'm doing this show, and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I'm not gonna like, you know, mm -hmm. um, because I I wanna always come up there with an improvement, with something better to give to people, yeah. and not just trying to just be there because I just want to be there. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it makes no sense in it. So I'm like, no. So it was all in. There was no plan. They like they wanted me to have a plan A, plan B, or plan C. They wanted me to go in Tampa earlier, and then Texas, and then probably. But I'm not that kind of person. Mine is is just one. It has to be one, and go all in there, get it, and that's it. Yeah. So Chris Psycho Fitness said you were about five pounds heavier. I think I think you looked it, but I think I think this year you've really I think you've cracked the conditioning this year at the Arnold Classic, yeah. and, at, and at this show I really feel like the biggest improvements apart from on your back is just your huge level up in conditioning. Yeah, um, I think uh, just like what I was saying, um, you know, we we we're, we're not focusing on the overall. Improvement. We're focusing on one step at a time. Yeah. The it, because I will say I'm starting to be. I started to be a bodybuilder from this Arnold because I got, um, you know, a team and a different thing entirely. I'm doing because all through of last year, I, I I literally did 
train myself. I, I like I train my myself. I was with George, but I was literally like doing everything same by myself, like training mm. myself. Why? So um, for for me, I wouldn't count that. I just count that as a beginner's phase, you know. But and in as in as much it, in as much as that, I was still able to accomplish a lot, literally on my own. Okay. But with George on my side, yeah. But now. Uh, yeah, Flex also was there, but but due to his health, health like situations, we only could you know like be together for a couple of days. So I wouldn't count that because a couple of days in a full year, it's, it's uh, there was like 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 it's it's more or less like nothing. But I did get gain some some knowledge though. So yeah, so this, this time around, I think it's been from the beginning of each prep, it's been with uh, with these guys. And following their lead, being in camp, you know, back and forth. So I think, uh, yeah, we've cracked one code, we've cracked the other code. Yeah. So now we'll be, we'll just keep cracking the codes until when we can have an overall, uh, uh, you know, like thing to 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 keep going with. So, so if you can take eighth in your first Olympia, a very tough Olympia you know, when you were sick, like, cause you said you could, you know, you were really sick and all, I mean, you, yep. I mean, I saw, cause I'll be honest, right. I, I really got the hype when I saw you at the Olympia. Yeah. I, I thought you were good, but I, I did critique your physique. I did. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. did. Yeah. But like, when I saw it at the Olympia, I went, ah, I get it now because there's something about seeing you in the flesh that you just, it just doesn't translate when I see in pictures. Yeah, exactly. Because even, even, even if you look at the Olympia, like physique and the Texas, I did like last year and the honor of last year. Yeah, I was bigger. I was bigger, just big in size of the Olympia, which yeah. I always have been. But if you talk about the the detail, the symmetry, and whatever, it wasn't there. But I mean, but doing that on my own and just having yeah. eight, it's a it's a it's a big. I mean, it's a big. I think it was the biggest accomplishment over. I mean, loads of competitors. You know what I mean? So yes. this time, yeah. So this time around. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but um, be that said, uh, at the Arnold, at the Arnold, I think I will, I think, um, I only came in three pounds heavier. At the Arnold, I was 273, but this competition, I remember like about to step out and step on stage, I was uh, 270, 276. So I think I was I was just three pounds heavier, but I think, uh, you know, if you compare if you compare both of them, the Arnold and this, I would say they're probably I would say in weight wise they're not the same, but perspective wise I think is the same. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, I think I think your back shots were just lights out. I mean, I think because that's why I felt like you needed a bit more detail and development. And I, I looking at those pictures, your radial bicep, your rear lat spread, top to toe, the posterior chain, everything, every area of your back is all now. It looks really, 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 really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was good. It was good. But another and and an, another thing, a factor now, I have to focus on myself now. It's uh, the posing. I need to I need to work on the posing because. Uh, I always get positive feedback from the judges after the shows and yeah I need to I need to really work work on them like sometimes I know like I've got the muscles somewhere but I just can't seem to pop them <laughs> yeah oh you mean the actual the weight cause it looks like yeah it looks like I'm lagging it looks like even for myself I think I'm lagging there okay I think I'm lagging there, but when they, but when I was, you know, like uh, just shown some example of how to make it happen, and it pop, I'll be like, holy shit! So I have this all, you know, it's like it's like it's like it's, it's like having money in the bank, and you've got no idea that you've got like that huge amount in the bank, and when you went there, and you're like, oh, sir, you have this this like extra account there, and when you check the balance, you but you're like <laughs> holy shit so i think yeah i think i need to that i need to work on i need to just stick to what the judges want or give the judges what they want this time around not what i like or what my team likes or what individual perspective likes what they want to see because they are the ones doing the the judging they want to see something they want to see things 
that other people have things that they see in other people that they want to compare with. Hang on a minute. Are you talking about your compulsories? I'm talking about my posing. I, I, yeah, but because I, I mean, I, lo- I saw your posing routine at the Olympia. I thought it was fantastic. So are you actually about how you hit the pose or what you do with your routine? No, how I hit the poses. Right, how okay. I hit, yeah, I, I like, I like, like, the, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, still, I'm still a work in progress, so, okay. yeah. Well, don't change the front wall bicep because I love that tilt. Uh, yeah, oh, the, I would just, no. Don't change it. No, like, no. the wood just like bring in some modification and make it more better. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. So, yeah. so, um, who changed your side tricep? Because that is an absolutely fantastic shot for you. Nah, it's just, it's just, it's just my creativity. Okay, you, you changed that yourself. Yeah, it's my creativity. It's my creativity. Did you see somebody posted a picture of it next to ninety-eight Ronnie? Yeah, I know. I, I've, been, <laughs> I've been having, yeah. I've been having loads and loads and loads and loads of of comparisons and pictures and all that but you know like sometimes i like to just play with myself on the mirror like on my especially when i'm trying to do my my routines yeah so i'm trying to like hit something like different and i'll be like oh okay this looks nice and classy i just like i just want to be you know not doing the regular like you know i just want to do some something like different give people's eyes like a different thing so when when i strikes when i strike that shot it was amazing you know so mm. yeah yeah i think it's really nice to see a guy your size posing like a classic guy <laughs> yeah man i always always I'll, awesome i mean i just want to be like different you know i just want to be like pretty i just want to be the prettiest uh guy out there <laughs> be pretty. Yeah. so i mean I, I saw a video today and i was i saw what chris chris is putting you through some very so if you're doing your training last year i imagine it wasn't quite as varied as the way because chris has you doing all sorts of weird and crazy stuff and and obviously it's worked because he obviously is watching your physique he knows how your body works do you think that's made i mean do you enjoy training that way uh you know you know there's you know like i bodybuilding is a total different thing entirely it's it's completely gets you off your comfort zone you know you're doing something against your preference you know like if you're into like fitness into sports or whatever you know you just want to do things that you like things that you can put out there on video but yeah. bodybuilding is not it's like something that takes like that takes you to a whole different level of discomfort but at the same time, that's where it, it it brings something out of you, which is good. So, so yeah. So that's why I said I started. I started to be a bodybuilder yeah. when I started for the Arnold with these guys, and so far it's been good. So they know those tiny details of where to hit, you know, and that's that has been amazing. It, it gave me flashbacks to when Charles Glass used to train Flex Wheeler in Golds in the nineties. Yeah, I was like yeah. because I saw the one of you pulling the sled outside, with, yeah, with, with your hood up, and you're like you're really, and you you look like you're dying because you're outside. Yeah. It probably looks so hot in that hoodie, and you're like, and you're really, really focused. It's a re- I thought it was a really cool, cool visual. <laughs> yeah, so that's actually good. I, 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 I think this, 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 this time around, we didn't, you know, put the feet on the pedal. We 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 didn't go all hard on training this time around uh, because really? we we didn't want it to exhaust myself leading to the Olympia. So yeah, we took it quite easy and wanted to come in big, and uh, which we did a little bit though. So it's a... so you feel you so you feel fresh for the Olympia then? Yeah, of course, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I feel fresh. <laughs> I feel fresh. So um, how's it going with the new sponsor? Is that all going well? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been it's been amazing. Like with BSN, like you can see. Yeah. Yeah, these guys, these guys have been these guys have been solid, solidly, like solidly behind me. You know, they they just, I mean, it's 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 wet and pouring everywhere, but they've been they, they've been my umbrella. So it's amazing. Good, good. Yeah, so, good. So what are you what are you realistically hoping for for the Olympia? Um, it's just to beat this person that did it, did this, this Texas. Yeah. 
Yeah, that 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 has been the goal to always beat my previous self. So we, we will try to not beat this person, but I think eliminate, annihilate this person. Yeah, I think yeah. That, I mean I always ask that about bodybuilders, and they'll say, well, look, you know, they give the kind of the same answer. They say, look, it's it's a competition against myself, not really against you yeah. know, because only I can control what I can control, what I, how I look, you know. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you go for the Olympia is to annihilate this person, like just take this person off the map entirely. <laughs> Good, good. Uh, well, I'm I'm excited, mate. I'm excited. <laughs> I can't, and I think you got to. I think the quali- the timing of this qualification was. It couldn't have been any better. Uh, really? I, no, I think it was just. It was just. Uh, uh, it was just a, a, a decision which I which I made, not not which I planned for, because. I mean, you know, I've got work, I've got things, I've got so many things. We're all together, mm. you know. Uh, if not for the Arnold, I think I would have done an earlier show. Okay. Yeah, but because the Arnold, I decided to do the Arnold because it marked my 365 days in the industry. That's one complete year. So I wanted to do that and uh, just, you know, just, you know, um, uh how would i put it uh like satisfy my conscience you know yeah <laughs> so yeah so and and also i think it's 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 um it's it gave me a, a boost in everything in confidence wise like mentality psychologically also mm-hmm. because I mean, I was able to stand against the greats like against Nick Samson against Rami I mean that was yeah Amazing, yeah. So that also built me, and also for the Texas Pro, it was against Hunter, and Hunter is no small name again. So yeah, he's been fourth. Having faced these tough challenges, I mean, it prepares me like mentally yeah. on what to um, uh, face at the Olympia. Um, did you know I got in big trouble with Milos? <laughs> Everyone, no, everyone is Andrew. Andrew, I said, I said that you deserved. I thought on the day one of the Arnold, I had you ahead of Samson, and then on the second yeah. day, I felt like Samson pulled ahead, and then you kind of you look, you kind of peaked day one. Samson peaked day two, and me and Hon- me, me and Milos had a big row. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> honestly we're cool. Honestly, now. even even Nick, even Nick, had me in prejudging. Yeah, he had me winning in prejudging. Like, I did. I did. Yeah, in prejudging, I knew I won. I knew I won, like mentally and psychologically, I won prejudging. Yeah, I had them in prejudging. But what Samson and Milos did overnight, Mm -hmm. because even when I saw him backstage, I'm like, what the hell did you do, bro? Yeah. Come here. What the hell did you guys go do? Like, that's that's not fair. That's not fair. He was laughing. Like, I'm a realist, yeah. Like, hey, hey, like I call it spade a spade. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not cocky or try to, you know, be something I'm not. If some, it's real. I'm a real human being. If I say something, it's like this. I'll be like, this is how it is. You know what I mean? So when when I saw something the next day backstage, I'm like, yeah, I knew he had it. Yeah, I knew it. It it just shows you how close that top three was. I mean, and you had Rami looking. Much, much better than the Olympia. Yeah, what Samson and Milos did for the finals, <laughs> no idea. But that was damn good. Yeah. Even Hunter, like, even, you know, people were saying, uh, you know, this and this and that about the Texas Pro, this and that. But if you're not actually there, you don't see what, what's on screen or on TV or 4K or 8K. Mm. 4K, 8K, 12K isn't the same as the retina eyes, yeah. you know? The yep. retina eyes is the real thing. So, like, for the, for the, for, for the Texas Pro, Hunter, Hunter is not, he's a strong competitor yeah. when it comes to, you know what I mean? So, he had me in the back shots. That I know because really? I know my, I, I'm, yeah, because I, Hey man, I'm still working. I'm still working. No, no. no bro, I'm telling no. you. I'm telling. No, I'm still. I'm still. <laughs> I'm a work in progress. Now, like, listen, it's not about if it's about roundness, symmetry, size, or whatever. Yeah, but if you talk about the the 
the he was he was peeled he was peeled and way conditioned on the back which was uh, i mean you have to call a spade a spade bro his glutes and hamstrings was i mean yeah his lower back too was yeah he was peeled on the back so he got me on the back i got him i got him on the front mm -hmm. we were 50 50 on the sides and that was why the judges kept putting us in runs and i'm a diesel engine yeah as low but when i start going I can be there all day. Like you put me with, you put me on five rounds with each of the guys there. I won't even break a sweat. I will, the more, I, the more I go, the more, the better I become. Yeah. So while I was like putting us through rounds and rounds, Hunter was fading. Yeah. But I was, I was like that. Was, that was when I was like, now let's start. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I think it was really ballsy of him because he's ever, apart from the Olympias, he's won every amateur and pro show that he's ever done. Yes. Now he won Tampa. He got his qualification. He knew you were coming. He knew Carlos was coming. So yeah. what? Why? Why? I think it was really like ballsy of him to say, "I'm doing Texas as well." No, Hunter. Hunter. Hunter is a fight. He's he's a, he's he's a, he's a fighter. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. He's a fighter, and and he knows he knows he has to do more shows with stronger more competitive athletes so that it can also boost him mentally and psychologically because the olympia is no joke and remember two years ago he was third in the olympia he he, he was what fourth i think so fourth, third. He yeah. eighth fourth seventh. You know? yeah no fourth but last year he was uh seventh yeah so yeah so he figured that the more shows he did that would prepare him like mentally and psychologically towards the Olympian. That was why he wanted to do the Texas show because Texas show, he knew he would, he would be facing me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he, no, because yeah, he, he, was doing, he could have avoided it. Yeah, he was doing that because he he was facing me and I came third in the in the Arnold. So he wanted to like, you know, have a take, like have a, have a, have a good dance, you know what I mean? So, yeah. which, which is good, you know? So, um, and I knew Hunter was doing it. So, for me, as a as you know, as a baby, like like coming up, when I hear such names, there it boosts my confidence and helps me prepare more, like mentally. Yeah. You know, he's more matured, but when he sees a rookie like coming up, you never underestimate them also. So he's like, yeah. So <laughs> we give them a good dance, and at the end of the day, yeah, they're the same thing I've um, always been doing, which is. Take over to Texas <laughs> twice. <laughs> so, what was right. your what was your thoughts on young Carlos? Carlos is an amazing, it's an amazing human being. He just have to find, he just have to find his rhythm. Yeah, yeah. I'm still finding my rhythm. He has to keep finding his rhythm. When he keep, the more he keep finding his rhythm, the better he becomes. So he's he's a monster. Like you talk about monsters on the block he's a monster and he's got same phys physique like Hassa mustafa yes yes exactly yeah, so yeah, this yeah. yeah he gets his stuff together and he will be a dominant force dominant force are you looking forward to going back to dubai of course it's my home <laughs> looking forward to go back home i've got piles of work to do piles of work what, to do. What, like, so, I, what do you mean work like if i mean I work. I'm not. I work in it. I'm not just a bodybuilder who just comes eat and sleep and train. No, I see how work I'm doing. Okay. Oh yeah. So even here, like because because here it's time for difference is twelve hours. So sometimes at night time here I'm still awake like doing things because it's daytime over there. Yeah. You get me? Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you got some good sleep yesterday as well. You said you hadn't slept for like two days or something. Yeah, I got. I got. <laughs> But I, I got to go sleep, Jesus. <laughs> I yeah, go sleep. you got to get your rest, mate. Yeah, I got to go sleep at night time. I got to go sleep at night time. Not long sleep, though, because I can't sleep, like, in a stretch. Only it breaks down, but it was good. Good. Yeah. All right, then, Andrew. Well, mate, I wanted to congratulate you, mate, because, um, yeah, good job, mate. Really good job. Because think about, think about it, mate. You know, Arnold, then Texas, then the Arnold UK, the Olympia, the Arnold, Texas. Like, you've been literally non-stop competing and prepping. Yeah, but, but like, if you, if you look at it, yeah, if you if you call my achievements, it's been, if, if you call my, if you call, yeah, if you call both the achievements and 
and the uh, competition itself. It looks like I've been in the game for like years, yeah. but I'm not. Yep. This is last year, March was when I started. You, you were an amateur last March. Yeah, last. <laughs> crazy. You know, it, it's funny. It's crazy. Yeah. This 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 month, this Texas Pro just turned me one year of have big competing in the pro show. You know, so uh, and having achieved this much, it's a uh, it's a good and it's a blessing. You know. Hang so, on a minute. Yeah. Hang on a minute. I've just realised because Texas was your pro debut. Yeah, it's just one year of being a pro. One year. Of being a pro. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's incredible. I like to see that though. I like to see guys like yourself, you know, and, and you you know, it's just oh I love it, mate. I love it. You know? Yeah. Just a year of turning pro, but people don't understand. They mm. they think, oh, because you know the name of been there because of Larry Wells, my brother. Yeah. You know, he put me down the map. So I was just a regular like fitness guy, but <laughs> when you've been a pro he, regular I mean, fit, regular fitness guy, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember Billy Garnon telling me about you last year, and I, yeah. he says, he, I said, I, I said, oh yeah, he looks right, he's good, he's good. I said, but you know, we'll see, we'll see what it looks like on stage, and you know, and I was like, he's like, no, Giles, trust me, trust me. He said, this, you got to see this yeah. guy in the flesh, you got to see this guy in the flesh. And then I saw it at the Olympian, and I was like, ah, right, okay, I get it, because my eyes were drawn to your physique, it just your, just your shape, your shoulder width, everything, you know, that that kind of the small joints, you know, the tiny waist. And yeah. and now that you're starting to fill all those gaps in, you know, and everything's starting to pop and everything, you know, the, it's like the, there's less weaknesses every time I look at your physique. There's more strength yeah. every single, like you said, you're finding your rhythm. Yep, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right, I think we're gonna I'm gonna leave it there. Actually, I think that's just that's that's all I need to say, really. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, um, thank you so much for coming on MD Global Muscle. As always, I do appreciate it, mate. Truly, I do. And um, and I just can't wait to see what you're gonna do with Olympia, mate. I just I'm I'm getting shivers just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I get shivers. Can't no, wait. Olympia, Olympia will be. It will be. It will be. It will be a fun. Like I've got battles to fight with so many people. I've got. Cool. I've got something to battle with for the second time. I've got yeah. Nick to battle with. I've got a trilogy with Hunter again. I mean, so it's. Uh, it, it will be. It will be good. Personally, I, if I if I could have if I can have a choice, I'd like to see a call out with you, Crizo, and Samson. Me, Crizo, Samson, yeah, uh, and so many other people, and so many other people. I want to be compared with other people too. Yeah. So yes, good. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be good, mate. It's gonna be good. Well, I'm glad you're feeling fresh. I'm glad you're feeling good, and uh, all the best with your prep for the next. Uh, was it ten, eleven weeks? Yeah. Mm, and... Now, now I'll go back, take a break for a couple of weeks. You know, get some IVs, flush my system, just refresh, be good, and mm. come back again. Awesome. All right then, Andrew. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, mate, in um, cloudy LA, and I'll speak to you very soon. <laughs> Thanks so much, bro. All right. Bro. Take Okay, guys, welcome to MD Glow Muscle Hot News Season 5, Episode 44, with, of course, the main man in the chair. In the hot chair, Big D's back in the seat. I bet you didn't switch to yourself, did you? Good afternoon, everybody. Hey, yes, Good sir. to see you. Good to see you. Nice to be here again. Derek? Uh, yes, sir. How's your week been, mate? Oh, it's been a tough one, this one. Yeah, why? It's been a tough Well, I've been in the gym. I couldn't get into the gym. It's been there three times. Um... So that being too tough. Uh, oof. Work's been crazy, crazy busy. Yeah, crazy busy up and down the country. You said uh, you went to you went to my old stomping ground, I Newcastle. Went to, you know, working in Newcastle, this 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 lovely place in Newcastle, on Market Market Street. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Market, market Street, House, yeah. Market House, Market Street. The student accommodation thing. And uh, awesome did, place. We did, we did a grand job, but I mean the town itself. I lo love the town. Do you see all the theatre? So much to see. You see the theatre and the big market and I, the quayside. I, 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 I did, I did, well, we went over the bridge and thing like that. We had a quick little drive around the town. Yeah, and it was it was really quick, and then uh, we had to get back because it was it was knocking on. And we wanted to uh, miss the heavy traffic. So, but I mean, what a lovely place. I, Derek, I, I couldn't believe it. Derek, keep talking, keep talking, because yep. I'm going to show you one of my places I had in Newcastle. All right. And I'm going to show you one of the visitors I had, who I came back one day, and he was actually cleaning my apartment. All right. Go. Um, you won't believe this. Get ready to switch. Yep. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Look at this. Look. 
Who's that? Whoa. <laughs> Lee Priest. That's Lee. <laughs> <laughs> and he will clean your apartment. Hang on, you got the picture in picture. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah. Get anyway, yeah. So, and yeah, I was doing. Um, I did a. No, nope, no. Nope. You got get it. Rid of this, get rid of this picture in picture. Switch to two. Ah, it doesn't matter. Leave it up. Leave it up. Yeah. So this was the this was the Keyside apartment I had in two thousand and six, Derek. All right. Yeah. And uh, I did like a bit of a mini UK. T- well, it wasn't a mini. It was about a week long UK tour with Lee Priest. Yeah. And we did a couple of seminars up uh, towards Newcastle. Okay. And Lee stayed at my place. Wow. Yeah, stay at my house. And you know what? <laughs> and I taught, and you know what? I spent the whole week raving about Nando's. And then I went to Nando's, went into town, got him a menu. Yeah. And guess what he ordered? None. What? The steak. Oh, did he order the steak? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, didn't have, he didn't have the Nando's. I was like, oh my Lee, gosh. I've just been banging on about oh, this peri peri chicken. And it, I mean, I don't think they even do those steak rolls anymore. I was going to say, do, do, do they have no. Nando's in Australia? Uh, I don't think so. There's a few in America. I see yeah. one in Cyprus, all over the York. But this was 2006. Oh right, so so it might so, not, probably be there now anyway. Yeah, but he went for the he went for the bloody steak. Went for the steak. Yes, yeah. good on Lee. I know, I know, I know. I was like, no, I was like, I, I was actually offended. I was actually offended. <laughs> so anyway, so he came back, and I just moved into this beautiful penthouse apartment, right, with a yeah. Millennium Bridge view. It was far too expensive. I only lived there about six months before they kicked me out. <laughs> and. Um, yeah and um yeah it was um it was it was incredible it was all open plan it was st- it was a stunning place all like um the living room and the kitchen it's like all open oh it was just an amazing party pack yeah yeah and yeah, derek yeah. i had some good parties in there, yeah right? it's a good party yeah oh my did, God. Did, did, but, but i was i was really impressed with newcastle anyway it's good isn't I'm it like, yeah i like the town really, lots to do lots to see 14 years i lived there Four, mm-hmm. yeah i loved it i yeah. loved it too much thing is the, the city was actually too good too yeah. much distraction too much because yeah. it is really one of the I think it's the was it ranked the seventh best party city in the world or something? Oh, was it? Yeah, and I, wow. of course I took it took full advantage yeah, of that. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. yeah. So anyway, yeah. So, so anyway, back to my story. Lee, I came home. I, I forget where I went out shopping or something. Came back, and Lee was there literally, and he cleaned everything. He cleaned the house. He said, "I've cleaned your house top to bottom." I was like, "You didn't have to. I've only just moved in here. It's pretty clean." He goes, "No, there was a lot of dust." Is that what he said? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he'd hovered the stairs, he'd done everything, he cleaned oh, he's the got, whole place. Has, has he got OCD or something? Yeah, he's, he, apparently yeah. he does it like 3 a.m. You'll get up at 3 a.m. and start cleaning the house. So, but it was, um, yeah, so that, that was on the Bodybuilders reality TV show. Um, it was like a, a reality DVD series. And because um, I didn't realize he was bringing a mate with him. And it was only a two bedroom apartment, both en suite upstairs. Yeah. So I was like, look, guys, I'll take the sofa. So, um, and, I, and I'd just done two competitions, two NABBA shows, yeah. just done two NABBA shows. Pretty much, I'd been prepping the whole year because I'd done four shows that year. And all I wanted to do was pretty much just drink wine every night. Yeah. <laughs> Something's never changed. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I basically, I passed out on the sofa, like with my top off, ripped to shit, of course. And um, he, he was up in the bedroom upstairs and he, he said the snoring. Oh, you're joking, yeah, walking and he, up. Yeah, and he did a video with the, like the, like the Blair Witch. Yeah, yeah, on the video yeah. on his face, and he was. Um, and I've, I've, got, I've got to get that. I'll find that clip actually. I'll find it and bring oh, it. Put it in global because I've got, actually got the DVD in there. I'll try oh, yeah. and get it transferred and maybe bring it up. Put it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's laughing and he actually said, that, he said that noise has been going on all night. So he went down and he walked down the stairs with a camcorder, and then he filmed me on the sofa like that. And it were you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. He said, "Oh, it was just it was a really really funny moment. I've actually put it in one of my old shows actually many years ago." But um, he was, do you know what? I really, I really liked Lee actually. He was a really good house guest. <laughs> but it was. Yeah, yeah. He cleans the house. Cleans the house. What, films, what do you want? Films you when you're sleeping. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was, um, yeah, it was good. It was cool. Cool trip. Cool trip. He likes, he loves British chocolate. Oh, does he? Yeah, he loves British chocolate. And he took the, because I had a, a Jaguar XK8, four litre V8 at the time. Mm. And I couldn't handle the thing. It was far too fast for me. I was only like 28. What was I, 20? 30. 30 years old. Yeah. And I, it was such a powerful car. I didn't mm. really know how to handle it, you know? And he just kept, because obviously he's a professionally trained driver. So he was taking the, he does NASCAR. He used to do NASCAR driving. Oh, right. Yeah, he loves uh, race car driving. So um, he was constantly taking the piss out of my driving. He's like basically saying how I, I brake too much and accelerate too hard. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and he's yeah, like, yeah. I go into corners too fast. And, you know, he says he got, he was trying to teach me all these driving techniques and stuff. So the whole week he was pretty much there just munching chocolate, just ripping the shit out of me. <laughs> and, also, and also him and his mate, they brought so much luggage. And I, I said, you ain't going to get that in my car. And um, Lee says, Right, come back in 20 minutes. I'll, I'll sort it. So I went back in 20 minutes outside the hotel in London and he done it. He managed to get everything in. And then because he, he was the shortest, he had to go in the back, in the back of a Jag. It's really a four, it's a two door. So he was like crushed the whole bloody week. But it was, we made the best of it. It was a good fun. It was a really good fun week actually. 
It was good. It was I actually was, I was like it's like like when I did the tour with Phil Heath and Brandon Curry. I was genuinely sad to see them go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you like you yeah. think after a week of spending that much time and all that driving, you know, if they're not really the best kind of people to do that with, you're going to be pretty sick of them, aren't exactly, you? Exactly, exactly. But, but do you know what? Do you know what? They were good. I, I, yeah, I was I, I was sad to see him go. Mm. Sad to see him go. Mm. So, and it's funny because um, he says, Giles, we're up in Newcastle. He says, Giles, I want to train. Can I, can I just go somewhere? I says, well, you can come to my gym. I said, but let's not make any announcements. Let's just turn up. Yeah. So, um, John Nelson, it's actually old, John, John Citrone's old gym. I had my old office yeah, yeah. when I was working for the supplement company. And um, yeah, so we turned up and, uh, and I, I turned up and John was at the, ca- at the counter. <laughs> and I walked in really pretty. I says, all right, this guy trains. He says, uh, Oh my god! Because <laughs> John's a bodybuilder, and he's been to a few Olympias. Big bodybuilder fan. Yeah. yeah. He, sa- he says, "No, no." He says, um, "Giles, you can pay this guy." Doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, oh. I was like, "Oh, thanks, guys." But yeah. So anyway, that was um, yeah. So I just I post that was the last thing I posted actually on uh, on Instagram. Anyway, right. Okay, then I'm going to go back to. Oh yes. Also, I have my first cardiology appointment. Oh, right. how did that go? Fantastic. Oh, good. Yeah, he was very very happy. Told him everything, and. Um, all my everything all my checks all my blood tests and he says he said yeah he says all you're all good he says all the you know the surgery he says i'm happy with everything all the everything everything we can check for he says it's all where it should be and the levels and everything are good everything blood pressure um he says he said you've obviously he said he said i wish all my patients were you know the were like you he says because you've obviously put a lot of effort into the recovery yeah 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 yeah. he says right yeah he said after your surgery he says you know he said you 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 obviously live a a healthy life and everything like that and i said yeah pretty much you know probably drink a little bit too much red wine <laughs> but um yeah so yeah it was, i mean I said, oh, that's 15, that's 15 months after my heart that's, attack that's good news i know that took a bit of time didn't i it? know i know i did say to him i said look i said that it was last year i had quite a lot of anxiety because i just didn't know what, what was, was going, going on, on. like exactly. you know and he said look he said if the i said i didn't know whether the graphs had worked he said look if the graphs hadn't have worked something would have gone the only time it can go wrong is within the first 24 hours after after the operation he says, and then you'd know about it, trust me, because yeah, you'd, have, you'd, you'd literally you, have another heart attack. If you'd had somebody to speak to and, 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 and to exactly. be told, you, you ought to have been so concerned. And, and uh, yeah, if, if I could have had an appointment last last uh, July, August, like exactly. I was supposed and, to have. And explain what, what, uh, what the process and what, what happens, the healing process and things. Face to face. crazy, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. Well, anyway, it's, um, yeah, so. Anyway, uh, it's good news anyway, so that's that's the main thing. And also, he, yeah, so and he said, um, he said, right, in three weeks, I want you to come back for an echo echogram thing. Yeah. He says, and then if that's all okay, uh, I'm going to bring you off some of your medications. All right, okay. Um, a beta block, isn't it? Slow yeah, my heart yeah, yeah. rate, the, uh, the biosoprolol. Yeah. yeah. He says, I want to take you off that. He said, we'll wean you off that. And he says, and um, he said, then we could look at the others as well. So, so yeah. yeah, so I was, I was happy about it because I hate taking all medications and yeah, stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, bloody yeah. tablets. And I mean, I'm used to it. I mean, bloody, I was a bodybuilder, you know? I used to take <laughs> lots of tablets and stuff, but uh, it's good to be, like, I don't really want to be, car- I, mean, I go away, I've got all these tablets. Oh, it's, yeah. it, it, I feel a bit embarrassed, actually. Mm. I do, mm. I do. Anyway, right, let's get anyway, into it. Because yep. obviously we had the, fan, uh, oh my God, probably one of the most anticipated anticipated shows of the year, the Texas Pro, and it was won by Andrew Jack. Andrew Jack. <laughs> Big <laughs> yes. Andrew Jacks. Yeah, now Derek, you're not too aware of this guy, so I'm going to oh. show you. Now I've been telling you about this guy. He's like a taller, uh, they're saying he's like a modern Mona Lisa, this guy. I mean, this guy is, and we've actually uh, all been well. We will be having him on in one hour. By the time you watch this, we'll edit. So it's you've seen it. So fingers crossed. We he he comes through good on that. He, he did before when I did it with the, an episode with him and Ronnie Coleman together. He was great, mm-hmm. and he always messaged me straight back. Yeah. So let's go straight to his Instagram. Um, there we go. This this is the yeah, Derek. Okay. Now bear in mind, this guy is. I think he's about six one, six two. Look at that front of all. Beautiful. Do you want to zoom in a bit? Or? Zoom in a bit, yeah. Okay. Look at this front lap. Look at that. I can see the, the shoulder width. What do you think, Derek? Yeah, I can, I can understand when you say this is a bit like flex. Yeah. And this is probably the best condition it's, we've it's, seen him in. He's got nice lines, haven't they? Yeah. He's got very nice lines. But the lo- thing calves, is... Good calves, good calves. Look at the side tricep. Oh, wow. oh, look at the way the chest straights. Thing is, Derek... Like, I, I didn't get... I, I How pre- long ago was this one? Two days ago. Yesterday. Wow. Yesterday. This is what he won yesterday. Now, Derek, I didn't, I didn't fully appreciate Andrew Jack until I saw him at the Olympia. When he came out, I went, ah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I saw... The lines and everything. Oh, it's just like... The, um, look, he looks fantastic in this video. Yes, you can, yeah. see, you can appreciate him, but you've got to see him in the flesh. Your eyes are drawn to him. 
he's got something he's got that something star quality that yeah. you know that you know yeah. like flex yeah. wheeler but look at the midsection look at this look at, look at the abs look at that yeah it's a nice physique i mean he's yeah. about he's not far off 300 pounds i mean he is a big guy i mean he's i'm six foot six foot one he towers over me how tall is he again that's six one, six About two. Six one, six, six two. One, six two. Yeah, six I mean that is a it's, it's, Derek. That's a big guy. That, that's a big guy, and he's and he's, he's holding his physique well, isn't it? I mean yeah. that's, that's he's carrying some muscle there. Yeah, yeah, he's, and he's put. They reckon he's about five pounds heavier than he was at the Arnold Classic back in March. Um, now the thing is, and he's got room. The, th- the thing is, he's got he's got room to, to yeah. put him more on. He has, he has. He's got that lovely frame, hasn't he? He's got that X frame, hasn't he? Yeah. Nice. Small waist. Small waist, everything, man. Broad shoulders, nice shoulders. He's brought the back up as well. The back, the back is really good now. Look at that. I like the way he's hitting this side tricep now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. it looks really good. Because he, he, he got third at the Arnold Classic. Um, obviously, Samson was first. Nick Walker was second. Now, I've said to Samson, I said, Samson, if you can do everything you need to do to stay ahead of someone like Andrew Jack, you will win the Olympia. Because someone like Andrew is nipping on Samson's heels. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah. at the Olympia, he was eighth. Samson was sixth. At the Arnold Classic, Samson was first. Andrew was third. So he's right there. There's yeah. only... There's very, that, there's, that's very little separating them. Yeah. So if yeah. Samson or if, if Andrew improves more than Samson does this year, you know, I mean, he's going to be right up... Against, he's gonna be, basically, he's right up Samson's arse now. Yeah, but we're talking about Samson. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. You know what I mean? And I still think, you know, I mean, as much as I like Andrew mm. and I like his physique, uh, Samson still has the edge. Yeah, but right? yeah, but get get them next to each other, mate. You well, don't know. This, this is it. I I think Samson will hold him because Samson Samson is is he ain't missing about him. Yeah, he ain't missing about. And where how is he? He's made some improvements. Look at the abs from from year to year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I said if you, if you keep improving, you're, you're going to have to keep improving because Andrew Jack will keep improving. Exactly. So yeah. you, and he is right. And he's nipping on your heels, mate. He's coming yeah. up on that inside lane, so he really, really has to do everything he can. I think. I think as long as he can stay in front of Andrew Jack, mm. I think the Olympia ti- the Olympia title is within his grasp. Yeah. Now Andrew Jack's a few years older than Samson. I think Samson's like around thirty-seven, mm. and I think Andrew's around forty. Yeah. So he's got a you know so you know um, look at that so it's, it's, it, I like the shoulders the shoulder width the, shoulder, the small waist the, 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 yeah the chest yeah the, wow and it's funny because like, only a few months ago I was called an Andrew Jack Tater eh yeah yeah I was called Andrew Jack Tater because I dared to critique his physique no no because look, look 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 at his shoulders you can see, you, you can see what we we like we can see detail in his yeah shoulders. it's got lines so we know that it ain't got anything in his shoulders yeah besides muscle. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and he's really been um, kicking ass. He's trained by Psycho Fitness, who used to train Sean Roden. Yeah. Um, he's been in, because he goes back and forth between Dubai um, and LA. Right. So he's in. He's back in LA now, because hopefully we're going to get him on in 45 minutes, fingers crossed. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, so yeah, I, I, I just, yeah, I, I love his physique. And um, he's making big improvements. Um, now he's the two, two, two-time Texas Pro Champion. He was third at the Arnold Classic. He was eighth at the Olympia last year. Um, I think it's fair to say he's going to be. I think he could crack top six. Yeah. But do you know what? Do you know who I really want to see? I want to see him get up against Krizo. All right, the big yeah, Slovakian yeah. with yeah, the arms. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, yeah. I think, I, I, I think, I because both Krizo and Andrew Jack were the real talks of last year, and uh, both have improved dramatically. They both improved their conditioning. They both improved their physiques. Um, and I want to see a call out at the Olympia with those two together. Be interesting. What? Yeah. Yeah. What? So, but um, yeah, I, 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 I didn't really get, I didn't fully appreciate fully Andrew Jack until I saw him at the Olympia and until I saw him in the flesh. And then I was like, okay, guys, I get it. You understand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then. This is the guy we just had on, Derek. Here is young Carlos. Hey, I, this, is, this is obviously, this was yesterday. Here we are. Here he is walking out. Look at that. Look at his legs. See what I mean? Where he waddles. Flip me. <laughs> Derek, wait till you see oh, the... Oh, ha- wow. Wait till you see the hamstrings. Look at the... <laughs> I wish I could... Derek, can you film me your face? Because I want to see your reaction. Wow, man. He's good, isn't he? Yeah, man. Look at that. He's only young. There you go. Fault him. He said he wants to bring his glutes up, his back up. See, he wasn't holding his poses. 
He should have been holding those for a couple of seconds longer. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the hamstrings. Oh, wipe out. Yeah. Oh, get out of the way, mate. Look at the hamstrings. They got a, they've actually got a life of their own. Yeah. So he wants to bring his glutes up so he can get more development going on the glutes. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. See what I mean? He's a bit yeah. more lower lats, doesn't he? Yeah. A little bit more lower lats. Yeah. That'll just finish everything off nicely. Because I, I said to him, I said in the interview, I said, you know, I said, with better conditioning and a, and a thicker back, I could see you being top six Olympia next year. Oh, yeah. Look at the yeah. legs. I, I think, as he says, he probably needs to lay off his legs a little bit then. God, it's ridiculous. Yeah, because, the, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, does he remind you of like a young Phil Heath? I mean, he hasn't got the detail of Phil Heath, has he? But, I mean, if you look at the overall thickness and development. Um, here we are. This was the Walt Whitman photos. Look at that. That's, a, that's, a, that's his pro debut, Derek. So, what did he say he took his protein down to? 150 or something? 150, 180, 150. Yeah, because yeah, of the like stomach that. problems, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Stomach yeah, problems. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm just, I was absolutely over the moon to see that he did his pro debut finally. And how's this for a before and after? Oh, gosh. Look at that. Five years apart. So that was the Nationals. Um, that was Nationals in uh, November 2021. Yeah. So fast forward to August 2023. This is on his famous doorstep. This is where he does all his um, his updates. Let's have a look. Let me put the sound on. Oh, so this is four weeks out. Yeah. He really, I because th- he was pretty, he started crying, you know, on the last interview I did. Where he had to pull out the New York Pro Derek. Yeah. Because he was that yeah. upset. He was that yeah. upset because obviously the colitis had caused that many problems. Um, it meant that he had to pull out. So obviously he had to switch his foods around. There's his dad. His dad is ev- always with him. They're really close. They're really close. So. Is that mommy? I think so, yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy like Carlos. I've had him on a few times. I interviewed him the day after he won the Nationals. Um, so he's a big kid, isn't he? Imagine when he gets more refinement, a bit more back, a bit more glutes, and those hamstrings. I just, I just think he needs, you know, to 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 match them his upper body to, to match his legs. Yeah, <sighs> they are. Look, look at that. No weak shots. I did that frontal bicep for me. I mean, that is, that's that's a potential Mr. Olympia. I think that there. Yeah. Isn't it? Potentially, yeah. Yeah, that is. But his legs, his legs are just. Look at the arms. Look at the lats. The legs. <laughs> the freaking hamstrings. He could do with a bit more separation, couldn't he, between the quad and the ham? Because that just looks like a big... One big... Big, big freaking yeah. block of muscle. I mean, obviously, this is a few weeks out, so making big rummy look small. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but, you know, maybe the, the old version of rummy, new version of rummy, maybe, but... um. So what do you think he needs to do? Bin up his upper. How, how much more do you think he needs to bin up his upper body then to 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 match to match that leg? Um, to have to have that kind of symmetry where you think yes, because at the moment we we're, we're drawn to his legs that way. Yeah, right, hundred percent drawn to his leg. You can't you can't. I mean, double, he's got a very good upper body, but the arms are good. You just see. To me, I'm just looking at legs. Really? Yeah, yeah. Just the quick so legs. I, so I wouldn't say, I wouldn't be able to look at him and think, yeah. wow. Right, I, I don't. I don't want to. to me, I, I don't like when one part stand out so much. Right. Right. Because then you, you you're drawn to that one part, and then you you sort of like yeah. missed missed the other parts. I think. I think uh, back, maybe some uh, uh, overall refinement. You know, detail development. It needs, um, it, to me, he needs more size on his upper body. Right to match the legs. Yeah. Or do you think he just needs to get like like Rami? He just needed more separation in his legs. Well, it's not because of separation, because like, I mean, look, he's, he's got he's got the, he's got the size and everything like yeah. that, right? And if he had more separation, that that's going to make his legs stand out even more. True, but you know what? He only weighs two twenty. Yeah, no. I yeah. thought he was about two forty, Derek. I thought he was like a legit two forty with him. It's two ma- it's two twenty in his legs, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But it's funny though, because I I I just I just thought he was. I would have said probably two forty five, maybe two fifty. How tall is he again? He must be like five foot six. But yeah, he has to be. If he's two twenty, I, I, I mean, obviously it was a probably. I think it was a twenty twenty Arnold Classic. I met him, him and his dad, and I, oh, I can't really remember. I mean, I was stood stood in front of him, and I, I don't remember thinking he was. I, I, did, I, I don't really remember clocking his height. Do you know what I mean? Two twenty. That's that's what. I'm at hundred kilos. It's a hundred kilos. Fifteen stone ten. That's a lot of muscle for a guy who's only fifteen stone ten. Hundred kilos. Flipping heck. Mad, isn't it? Mad. Yeah, because I mean, I'm just thinking what I competed at. 
Yeah. So what were you? You you probably around that one. You I know you were ninety kilo <laughs> at one yeah. shows. And what, what yeah. was you? You went heavy, didn't Four, you? Fourteen two, isn't it? Yeah, fourteen 19, two. Fourteen two. Yeah. Well, how tall are you? Five six. Five six. Yeah. So he's got. But I don't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got like base. That's basically this is basically you with another twenty pounds. Wow. <laughs> look at the look at the lats. I just think the potential's there. I just, I, I, I just hope he doesn't just keep being a bigger like Rami doesn't just keep getting yeah. a bigger version, yeah. but the same yeah. Yeah. Uh, strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, but you're right. The legs are like he said. He said I need to back off the legs, don't I? Yeah, yeah. Manly, he said he's, he's going to work. Is 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 work is working on that anyway? Yeah. Yeah, a bit more chest, maybe. I don't know. The chest looks good to me. I mean, the arms. I've seen them up close. I mean, the biceps are like that thick, Derek. Yeah. They're like that thick. They're crazy. Absolutely crazy. So wow, yeah, you impressed? Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, he's awesome. He's awesome. So yeah, so far, finally he made his pro debut. So I'm absolutely over the moon with that with uh, for for young Carlos. So and he's only doing yep. one show. He's shutting it down now, Derek. Yeah, shutting it down. Well, well done, Carlos. I I like. I thought he was going to do Legion because another show in about four or five weeks. Yeah, uh, the Legion. But thing is, I mean, he was technically getting ready for the the New York Pro. So. Yeah. He was probably, well, so he was he prepping 12, 16 weeks before that. So mm. that was probably February, March, May. And then he's had to do June, July, August. That's kind of, yeah. He, he kind of has done two preps here back to back. Yeah. It's just that he didn't do the first show. Yeah. So yeah. for him now yeah. to now do another six weeks, that's going to be quite hard on him. Mm. You know, mm. and he's had to do all this figuring out with his foods and, you know, to try and, you yeah, know, yeah. You know, to, to, to readjust and everything and, and, and be, try things out. So. I mean, I mean, what he says, what he said in the interview was um, made made a lot of sense. I mean, he's he's thinking about long term, isn't he? He's thinking about yeah. next year. So, you know, hopefully he's going to come back and make a real make a real mark on the stage. I think he's just glad to get the pro debut out the way. Yeah, I think he's done it. He's done it. He's got he's gone in a good show. He's tested himself. And I think now he's um, he just wants to shut it down. He knows what he needs to do yeah. and wants to come back next year. Probably the same show, yeah. bigger back, better, big improvements, keep the waist nice and small. Mm. But um, I mean, the potential for probably one of the all-time best front double biceps ever, I think, uh, considering he's just got started as a pro, I think he, he could go down in history as having one of the best front doubles ever. I mean, I think that's... Um, who do you think got the best front double of ever, Derek? Ever. Ever? Don't oh. say Arnold. Oh, no. <laughs> No, Lee ever, Haney? Uh, ever. Ooh. I never liked... Yeah, like... No, because uh, Lee Haney had a, the... The backwards was Lee Haney for me. Yeah. Um, arms, no. I, I mean... His arms weren't fantastic, were No, the, well, He was a torso physique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chest and back, um, chest yeah. and back. Um, you see, you see, it's like, she like flexing... Uh, yeah. Flexing and... When he... When I see... Angles when, the body. Yeah, and then yeah. when I see like... Um, Lee Priest? Yeah, you see, Lee Pierce has some crazy abs. Yeah, front of all. And right. I mean, I'm not talking talk, talk about the, well, just, yeah, not the just the biceps, but the, the whole... Shoulders, the shoulders, pa the, the package, yeah. The quads, the small yeah. waist, the way, that, like yeah. this here with if, where Carlos's if, waist if, comes if, in. Even, even Phil, when, when he's on point, he, oh. he, he, he's sharp. Phil, Phil, Phil was, I, I like Phil still. Did, didn't I say to you right before we started filming, I said, I don't think we'll ever see another Phil or Ronnie. Yeah, yeah. Like Phil's yeah. level of conditioning and separation at yeah. that size and density and thickness mm. and development... And then Ronnie, who was just a freaking alien. Just, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ronnie brought so many different packages that were all so good for different reasons. You know, you had the 240 version in 98, which yeah. was so dry and detailed. Mm -hmm. And then you had the 2003 version, which was just inhuman at like, what, 287? Yeah. 40, 50 pounds on top of that. You know, the 99 where he had the, the shoulder to waist ratio, which was, was absolutely crazy, insane. Crazy. I mean, his waist just went like that. Yeah. And he, he was front relaxed and he, was, he just seemed to just take up half the stage. I mean, it was just, I like that look, 99, actually. Yeah. And then he did the 2001 Arnold Classic look where he just, he, that was one of his favorite looks because he was just so shredded and uh, like the detail in the hamstrings and everything. I mean, it's just, I don't think, I don't think it's, I don't think it's possible for the human body to surpass that. Personally. Yeah. yeah I don't, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway, it's good. Um, That's why it's called King. King Coleman, yeah. That's why we're calling King yeah. Ronnie. I miss Ronnie, you know. Yeah, I certainly do. I haven't seen him since. Well, I saw him at the Olympia. Did that podcast with him. Yeah. Uh, just it was a first ever face to face. Nothing but a podcast. Mm. That was really good. Just um, didn't prep for it. Just sat down and just started chatting about everything. Yeah. I said to the guy, I said anything you want me to particularly bring up? He went, Nah, just talk to you, mate. Yeah, just talk, talk to, to you, mate. Talk to talk your friend. To you, yeah, we we set the cameras up. We walked. We found this ballroom. Uh, this we basically literally at the um at the venue, the Olympia venue. Yeah. We we're just opening doors. 
just seeing if we could find some uh, quite just, to, just a quick setup here we'll be anyone comes in we'll just say we'll be out in about in a minute it's a bodybuilding show going on yeah, they, 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 yeah. They, they, it's not going to be unexpected we're not gonna, they're not going to call security yeah. and plus it's Ronnie Coleman most people know Ronnie exactly, Coleman exactly so um so yeah so I did it and we sat down and uh, yeah it was good went for some lunch and um went to this uh teriyaki madness it was called in Las Vegas it must be chicken <laughs> chicken and rice yeah <laughs> it's got chicken uh, but Derek Derek <laughs> and vegetables Ronnie didn't have any vegetables. Ronnie don't like vegetables. I know. Yeah, well, well, that's, that's what I mean when he gets home so well. Well, he had rice as well. Well, like, I, I don't mind rice. It was nice. It was really healthy. I was yeah, like... I, I like... I, this is what I've been telling you. You, you don't need rice? veg. Oh, come on, Derek. No, you don't. Come on, Derek. Come on. If, if Ronnie play, can do it, Play the game. Play the game. If Ronnie can do it, I can do it. Why can't he? Why can't <laughs> he can do it. Look, we know... I think we've all established that Ronnie is an alien. Well, yes, he's so, a... Uh, so they've, they've done some scans and they can't work out why he's got three stomachs and two hearts <laughs> and... Uh, yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, anyway. Right, okay, quickly going to go to Battle Up Productions. These are the promoters, Freddie Nadu and Sheila, is it Brown? Flexi Brown? Uh, incredible promoters of the, the Texas Pro. One of the, uh, it's the third year it's been, it's happening. And it's, uh, it's, it's just, I mean, obviously with the caliber of competitors that drew this, comp- this competition, um, it really was um, uh, yeah, a second to none show. Right, this was the, this was the top two, Derek. This was Hunter Labrada. And in fact, the, apart from the Olympia, this is the first pro. Sh- this is the first show that Hunter's actually lost, because Hunter won every single amateur show. And apart from the Olympia, where he was eighth, fourth, seventh, Hunter has won every single pro show he's done. Wow! So and yeah, so here we go. There's there's Carlos. Carlos. There you go. Uh, that's uh, Walt Whitman. This is a cool video. So here we are. Okay, I like these promotional videos. There's Andrew backstage. I don't know who that guy is. Yeah, that's a cool video. See, they, they just—they just all these attentions to detail, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the uh, making sure they got the best photographers and videographers there. Yeah. Um, this was oh, obviously Keon Pearson won the two twelve. This is Patrick's boy. Um, did you did you do the switching when we had Keon a few weeks ago? Yes, I did. He did. You did. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, you did. I'm just gonna lighten myself up a bit there. Get a bit dark. Oh. There we go. Zoom in a bit. Hang on. Let me just. Uh, just sort my lighting out. There we go. Ooh. So he, Derek, um, he's two. He was two. Uh, uh, pa- Patrick sent me some video uh, photos on the morning of the show, and he said uh, he's weighed in at two o five. So he's still got seven pounds before he hits the two twelve limit. Wow. But this was the best Keon we've ever seen. Yeah. Keon was at the Olympia. He he bombed out in twenty twenty one. Well, still got. He was fourteenth. It's no, nothing shameful becoming fourteenth at Olympia. Uh, last year he took sixth place. He went to sixth. Um, I think he was fourth in the classic Olympia back in twenty eighteen. And he was natural. That's a good back. Derek, he was natural. Was he natural? Yeah, and then he switched to 212. Yeah. And he did a prep between the Arnold and the New York Pro and went on some, you know, OJ. Yeah. And um, he, he completely transformed. A little bit of Anavar. A little bit of Anavar. In a, eight, of a little eight weeks. And I'm, I can't, I shouldn't really say this, but I have seen his, his protocol. And wow. it's not a lot. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Well, he's, very, he's very, very conservative. Very, take take note, guys. It's not about mega doses. He's got some fantastic genetics. Yeah. But thing is, I mean, he's... I think he'll push Clarida. I think he... Can I see him second this year? I just... I think he still will need more condition. I think he will look soft next to Clarida. Yeah. Clarida will... Clarida's got more thickness, density. <laughs> yeah. Clarida's got like this, but with another th- like four, three, yeah. four years. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? Really? Yeah. Realistically? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but um, the, I see big improvements. The hamstrings, glutes, but I think this is this is the best Keon we've seen to date. How old is Keon? Uh, he's twenty something. So he's got t- he's got time, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, 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 he's only time. a kid. He's about yeah. twenty eight or something. Twenty seven, twenty eight. Got time. But um, he's got a good. He's got a good package. Yeah, he's got, got a good he, package. He's actually got a prettier shape than Clarida, but Clarida's just got more. So much muscle. More development, yeah. more density, so, yeah. more conditioning. Which, 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 then, yeah. you, you, especially when you like put put him clo- ne- ne- next next to each other, it's, it's a different ball game, isn't it? I think I think he'll be second to fourth at the Olympia, mm. depending, and he'll have to be harder than this. He will have to be harder than this. He won't if he if he brings this conditioning again at the Olymp- like this at the Olympia, he'll be probably around the same fifth or sixth. Mm. But if he brings better con- five to ten percent better conditioning than that, then I think he'll go up to probably second, third, fourth. But um, mm. but I love the front last spread. Top five in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. top five. Yeah, because top five is that's what everyone wants to crack. Yeah, that's the one where you get to do your posing routine. 
you know, I mean, sixth is probably one of the worst places you can have because you're just outside oh, that top oh, five. You don't need a pause and There's so many categories now. Oh, right. So yeah. it's only top five. Top five got to pose. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. but all the female bodybuilders got to pose. Yeah. yeah, well, Jake, Jake Wood's a bodybuilding, yeah. female bodybuilding fan. So he's the one who brought the Miss Olympia back. Yeah. And he owns the Olympia. Yeah. So he can kind of do what the hell he wants. Yeah. <laughs> so. so if he likes female bodybuilding yes, and he wants sir. them on the stage, on the main stage, he wants them all to pose. Yes, sir. Then you can do what the you hell you want. <laughs> <laughs> So, right, okay, here's the wonderful, beautiful, lovely, mesmerizing Jessica Race Padilla. I've had on the Global Muscle. I think she was one of my first female guests ever back in season one. Um, she's, I think she's about 42, 42, 43, Derek. From, where is she from? Is it Puerto Rico? I've forgotten now. She's from... She's lovely, isn't she? She's amazing. She's amazing. Yeah, I've had some really good interviews with um, Jessica. She's, she's an absolute sweetheart. Um, wow. Oh, I saw it at the Olympia. Back, and all the back on that. That's figure. And that's figure. Figure, yeah. Oh it's God. changed a lot, isn't it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But uh, she's got one of the coolest walks. Yeah, she's incredible. Um, she's doing the Masters Olympia next week. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so she'll, so congratulations, Jessica, for winning the Masters Olympia. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, Jessica's actually uh, number two in the actual Olympia as well. well she's so she's number two in the world as well to Sydney Gillen. Wow. So she's going into the Masters Olympia. She's won. This is like a kind of a warm up. So I would expect to see Jessica uh, picking up her first Masters Olympia title this year, this, this next week. Wow. So, yeah, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Uh, who else have we got on here? Um, uh, where's the classic? Oh, yeah, it was good to see uh, Lewis Breed, who we had on last two episodes of Globe Muscle. He was fourth place in the Texas Pro. So very, very happy to see that. Mm -hmm. uh, great result for the Brit there. It yeah. took a lot of guts to go all that way over to America when he could have stayed over here and done yeah. just European shows. Yeah. Um, what else? I think that's everything we want to see on there. I think it's just all the recent stuff they've put on. Uh, oh, we had uh, Logan Franklin there. He took third in the Classic. This was the guy that prepped himself. This was the guy that Milos was prepping for the Olympia. And then he, I interviewed him at the, the Meet the Olympians on the Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he got sick. He had diarrhea or something. And he couldn't, he was dehydrated oh. and he had to pull out of the Olympia. Imagine getting to the Olympia. You're oh, all ready. And, and, and everything just happens. goes wrong. Yeah, yeah. And he couldn't make it to the stage. So, so yeah. He got third. Um, new guy. I've seen him drier. I've seen him drier. Good physique though. Yeah, look. Derek? Yep, he's on the, yep that, that same shot. Yeah, look. I'm for, I'm, I'm no, I, I literally hit it as soon as he hit the pose there. See, look. Yep. yep. Fantastic. He's all, obviously, um, you know, it's a huge, huge honour to get the front cover. So, um, right, we better get a move on because I think we've got Andrew on very, very soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Please turn up, Andrew. I'm sure you will. Uh, right, let's go to Bodybuilders Without Borders. Yeah. Um, I mean, pretty much it's pretty much all I want to talk about is the Texas Pro, Derek. Yeah. Because it was such a good show. Um, but I think we've pretty much seen everything, actually. Oh, this was the new guy that won the classic. Uh, Jehun Allwright. I'm sure that's not his name. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, Jehun. Oh, it's in Korean. So Jehun. We'll call him Jehun. Mm. This is the new guy. Won the Texas Pro. Uh, pulled a bit, bit of an upset. I don't. He's done the Olympia, so... Believe, I believe he made top 15, top, yeah, Olympia top 15. So he's beaten two very, very good bodybuilders there in the two, in the classic. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Bloody. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. So what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Oh, there you go. There's Lewis Breed. Yeah. Um, who we had on the last two episodes of MD Globe Muscle. This was the guy, uh, Jordan Hutchinson, making his pro debut. He took fifth place in his pro debut. I have followed him on Instagram and he's followed me back. So I think we'll have to get him on maybe next uh, next next episode. Yeah. Because um, I like all these new faces. You know, it's just so, so yeah. exciting. I mean, you know, when, when guys make pro debuts and they make like top five or top three, like Carlos, you know, yeah, like it's Jordan. Big, it's, a, it's a big thing, man. Beef stew. Remember beef yeah, stew? Beef stew. You know? oh, yeah. Sorry, Derek. <laughs> Sorry to rub it in, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that interview was so good, wasn't it? It was. It was oh. actually really good. <laughs> Brilliant. Where's he, where's he from? Who? The last guy was... Jordan. Uh, American. American. American, yeah. So there he is on the right here. Yeah. There's Carlos. I mean, I'll probably all just look at his legs. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and if you see, look at, see the difference. Five foot six. Exactly. See yeah. look, the difference yeah. there, look. 
He doesn't uh, think I, I thought it was standing back then, you know, but it, it, he's not. That's, that's his height, isn't it? Yeah, that's wow. it. Wow. And then you got Hunter, who looked fantastic. I think maybe Hunter looked a little bit more polished, slightly better at the the, te- the Tampa Pro, but mm. you know he he, he he pushed he pushed Andrew. And then we got Lewis there as well, our guy from the UK. Yeah. Uh, he's going straight. I spoke to his girlfriend today. Said she's uh, sending him straight back to Dubai for an off season. All right. He's off back to Dubai. Get the work but, done. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, put the work in. Um, also, we had Ivy Rain in the women's physique. I love Ivy. We've had Ivy on uh, MD Globe Muscle before as well. Fantastic example of women's physique. Um, also, the the Sarah Vilagas. This is the uh, two time Miss Olympia physique who donates this money and a special award and a trophy of herself. Um, to the the Texas Pro winner, she puts her own money into it. Is she? Yeah, yeah. Look, fifteen grand, fifteen k. Wow. That probably would have been only maybe five k. Yeah. I think she adds in another ten. So fair do, isn't it? Fit. Yeah. Way. You know, it's um, woman's physique distinction award. So Ivy's been fourth at the Olympia. I think it was twenty twenty one. So she's been top four. Yeah. Top four. Would you say top five or top four? Uh, if you were fourth. Top five. Sounds, sounds <laughs> yeah. better. People say, "Hey, I made yeah. top. I made top seven. So you got yeah. seven. So you got, <laughs> yeah. so, oh, so you got fourth? No, yeah. I got seventh. Yeah. yeah, we'll just say seventh then." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, yes, I love Ivy. I have to get maybe get Ivy back on again, actually. Mm. Um, oh, here we are, and there was also Brit Sarah Bradley here on the right. This this girl's uh, British. Oh right. Okay. Yeah, she was fourth place. Uh, she well was done. second at the Legion Pro in 2021. I've had her on Globe Muscle. She's absolutely wonderful. Um, here's Sarah Kissling. Uh, she was second. She won the New York Pro a couple of years ago. But um, Sarah Bradley is, she's an incredible athlete. This girl here, she's incredible. I mean, yeah. they're all incredible, but, mm. you know. Um, I've, I've, I've tried to get Elisa on uh, Global. I forget why we couldn't, it was scheduling or something, or she didn't get back to me the, 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 the final time when I tried to pin her down for a time. Um, here we go. Yeah. I tell you what, look at that well, readable bicep. Look at that. I wouldn't say that. That's, yeah, that's the best pose. That's some quality there. Yeah, she's incredible. She's incredible. She trains hard as well, Derek. You see all her videos, and she's a really good talker as well. She does yeah, a lot yeah, of good, yeah. lot of good informational stuff, and mm-hmm. she's a very, very, very professional athlete. Very polished. Very. Look at that. Great posing. Where's she from? This girl. Yeah. UK. Yeah. Where? Oh, uh, the South Coast. All right. South Coast. Coast. Ivy looks wonderful. See, Ivy's. Um, mm. she's got teenage kids. I think. Teenage kids, yeah. And during COVID, she was training in her garage. <laughs> and that was the year she took fourth Olympia. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they, it was quite a basic gym as well, you know? I like that shot on, uh, is it Elisa or Sarah Kissling? Yeah. Elisa Kissling. Elisa Kissling. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. Look at that. I just can't take her eyes off that shot. Yeah, that's it. That's Look it. at that's that. A really good pose for her. Really she, pose for that. she takes that pose, doesn't she? Yeah. Out of all of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah fantastic. Right, quickly have a look at uh, Hunter Labrada, then we will move on to, there he is, yeah, I think he was, his colour and his midsection and everything, he just looked a little bit more polished at the Tampa Pro, Yeah, but um, I tell you what, it took some balls though, because he'd already got a win, he got a qualification for the Olympia, but he wanted to do Texas, knowing that Andrew Jack was in it. Oh, did he? The thing is, he beat Andrew Jack at the Olympia last year. Right. So he probably thought, okay, well, I know I could probably beat him. You yeah, know, I could beat yeah, him. Yeah. But then Andrew turns up with a, a package. A package that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was probably straight first victory, I think. You know. Yeah, he's a little bit, he's not quite as sharp as he no. was at the Tampa. Do you remember seeing yeah. the other week? Yeah. Yeah, it was sharp, wasn't it? And this is better quality footage as well. So if if he was if he was sharp, it would show up in this better quality yeah. footage than we saw at, te- yeah. at Tampa. Yeah. So he's not quite a shot. Probably tried to come a little bit, maybe a bit, bit fuller, knowing that he's going up against such a, like a near 300 pound guy like Andrew. What do you think? See, he's another one who needs a little bit more lower lats, doesn't he? Yeah. You know, I like his back's improved though. His back has improved. I like the lat spread. He's not dropping his shoulders, is he? He's not hitting, he's not opening up. Is he? He didn't hit that shot properly. No. no. Yeah. Oh, well, he's doing his dad's pose there. Lead <laughs> brother. Yeah. You, you can see the legs and everything don't look yeah, quite as full yeah, and popping. Yeah, yeah. He's a little bit blurry. A little bit blurry. That's right. Yeah. Oh well, he's got his, he's got his qualification well, for Olympia. Got, he, he, that's it. He's qualified already, isn't he? So he's been fourth at Olympia, though. Fourth. He's been eight. He was eighth in twenty twenty, fourth in twenty twenty one, beating Nick Walker, mm. and then last year he went dropped. Well, dropped down to seventh. Still, still pretty impressive. So it's one all with uh, Hunter and um, Andrew Jack now. Andrew beat. Sorry, uh, Hunter beat Andrew at the Olympia, and now Andrew has beaten Hunter here. 
and I expect Hunter to. Um, I, sorry, I expect Andrew to stay out in front. I think he's way. I think he's surpassed. I think he's surpassed Hunter now. You reckon? Yeah, I think he'll. They'll. I don't. Th- I don't see Hunter beating Andrew at the Olympia. No way. No. Mm. Uh, no, you don't. Do you think he's that good? I think he's. I think he's good. Well, you know, it's I, it's, it's going to be close. It's open anyway. It's it's it's, it's for anybody. Um. No. No, you don't, you don't no, think so. no. I think I think Andrew's out in front now. So this is the new guy, Jordan uh, Hutchinson. Oh, I think he could sneak into top three past Carlos. No, he didn't. He got fifth. But um, this is the new guy. Yeah, he looks good. I don't think he's good as Carlos. No, no. Come on, no. come on. What's he smoking? No. <laughs> <laughs> smoking and posting. Don't do it, guys. It's not big and it's not clever. So right, took okay, care no. enough to. Not bad. Not bad, but yeah, it looks good. Good pro yeah, debut. Yeah, I, d- I don't know anything about him. I don't know where he turned pro. I'll have to do some inf- um, some research on him. But uh, yeah, it looks really, really good. Looks really good. Nice. I mean, making top five in your first pro show in exactly. a big pro show. Yeah, you know, in a big lineup. I mean, that's uh, he must be happy with that. Maybe he'll do the, the Legion as well in a few weeks' time. I wonder who's going to do Legion now because Hunter's sh- Hunter's got his qualification. Yeah. Andrew's got his qualification. Carlos says he's shutting it down. Lewis is done now as well. He's going back to Dubai. Mm. So I'm just wondering who will turn up to Legion. You know, because just say 100 won this, mm. Andrew would have had to have gone to Legion exactly. to qualify. Yeah. But now uh, Andrew's qualified now. That's right. So I'm wondering now who's going to show up for Legion because it's always a good show. It always attracts a good quality of competitors. Yeah. And you will get guys that will specifically prep for just that one show. Do you know oh, what I mean? Well, they won't do it as a, like a, a third of a fourth show or mm. fourth of a third, fourth of a yeah. fourth show or something. Yeah. They'll do it because they want to specifically peak for that peak one for that show. show. Mm. You know, because some, some guys like to try and qualify late. You know, mm. you get guys, that it's a bit of a gamble because... Well, it's a big gamble because I mean, if you, if, you don't, if you don't win, then yeah. you've got to start looking elsewhere. Steve Cooklow did, tried it one year. He left yeah. his qualification to too late and then he got second or third or won a couple of shows. Yeah. Didn't qualify. So, and that's it. And that's it. That's yeah. it. Unless you want to come all the way over to Europe. And the thing is, exactly. tell you what, these European shows, we've got Regan I, Grimes, you've got Nathan yeah, Diasha. That's what I mean. We've got, Theo, some good, 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 got some good competitors in, good, in, in ours. Good veto. We've got, um, God, I tell you what, I saw the lineup of the, the, Itali- the Italian show in a few weeks. Yeah. That's the next one I'm really excited about. Nathan Diasha sent me a video for my eyes only. Hey. Oh, he looks, he's back. He's back, baby. Nathan Diasha's back. He looks incredible. It looks incre- yeah, it looks incredible. Yeah. And the biceps look good. Yeah. I said to him, I said, look how full you look. And he laughed. He said, I'm flat as fuck, mate. Yeah. And I went, I said, no, but look at your shoulders. I said, they're popping. He says, no, I'm flat. Seriously, I've got, no, I'm, I've got nothing in there, you know? I was like, well, you're going to look insane when you fill yeah. out, you yeah. know? Because yeah. he knows, Nathan's one of these guys who really does know his physique. Yeah. Like he can, he can pull off different looks at different shows on mm. different weekends. Mm. He's done it. He's proven it. He's proven it. I don't know how he does it, but he's the one body, but I do, I do believe. So, right, okay, then we'll quickly go to who I believe will win the Masters Olympia next week in the Open. The incredible Kamal El Gagni. Hey. Uh, our friend. Been to your gym? Yes, it has. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I don't see anybody... Sorry, I don't see anybody beating him for the Masters Olympia. I think no. he's going to get us. And the thing is, imagine having two Olympia titles in two different divisions. Because he was... A, two, yeah. In 2019, he won the 212 Olympia. And now he's doing the open here, so I think I think he's I think he's I think he's gonna. Uh, this is what I predict will happen: he will win this next weekend. He'll win another two and then retire, because he's like what fifty-two now. Fifty-two. And he still looks incredible, and his skin. Look, look at his skin. Absolutely f- phenomenal. It's flawless, isn't it? Yeah. It's flawless. Incredible. Absolutely and incredible. Tra- and he trains so hard, doesn't he? Yeah. He, he really does. Tra- High volume. High volume. Um, I just hope he looks as good as he did say, like at Tampa last year. I think he's. I think he realizes that he's going to have to give it everything this yeah. one because he's, mm. this is a big. This is the big. This is the big deal, really. And I think I was the one who talked him into doing it. it, it, it I mean, look, looking looking at that picture. I mean, he's, he's really pulling out all the stops, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, look at the, look at his shoulders. Look at the lines in his shoulders. He's probably about two twenty there. Flipping popping. Probably about two twenty five there. So he probably come down to maybe two twenty two eighteen by the time he hits the stage. So I just hope he can really, really nail it and win it decisively because that's what, that's what I'm predicting. And I got the top four at the Texas Pro Light. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, yeah. then. Okay, then, Derek. Uh, I think we're going to have to wrap it up. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, we love Kamal, don't we? Come yeah, on. we do love him. I've trained with him twice. I've done shoulders and chest. He's very strong. Yeah. He's really strong. Yeah, I remember because I was because I I think I chose shoulders because at the time I was I was pressing like 105, 110s, yeah. and I was like, I'll do shoulders. 
I'm doing like 30 pound laterals, you know, and I was doing like 55 kilo on the rear delt machine. And, uh, and then we did some plate loaded machine presses, me, him and John Citrone. And I was doing, was it two, two and a half plates? He was doing like three and a half, four plates. <laughs> he was playing with it. He was playing with it, Derek. And I was really like uh, struggling, yeah, you know, yeah, and really, yeah. I was really, you know, it was a real, it was a real struggle for me. And then I did chest with him and John again, a gym up in Newcastle yeah. in 2019. And um, yeah, it was really good. It was good. The whole gym was buzzing to see him as well. I bet they were. Yeah, it's because because one of the um, one of the local lads, um, Steve Baker, had died oh, uh, in, a, in a weird accident, and uh, everyone was really. He was like a real big favorite, and I remember the gym owner Neil McVicker said to me, and he said, "Jazzy said, look, he says, you know, it's really lifted the spirits of the lads. You yeah, bring in, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and bringing John along as well, another yeah. le bodybuilding legend, you know. Mm. So um, yeah, it was cool. They weren't so fussed about seeing me. <laughs> 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 like, I was, he, he, and, and he said, he, and then he paused. And he went, and um, good to see you, Giles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for bringing him. I was like, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, cheers. Okay, then. Right. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Like, showing off the gains, you know. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Okay. Then, guys. Okay, and Derek. Um, well, yeah. as always, mate. Thank you so much for helping me out with MD Glow Muscle. I think we're gonna nope. have to get the overhead lighting in for for the big man, Mr. Andrew Jacks. Please turn up. I hope he turns oh, up. Yeah. Hope he didn't fall asleep. And uh, yeah, and that is it. Also, check out the latest issue of MD. The new issue should be out uh, any day now. So, um, and I've still got one little piece of work. I did my column on Friday. I've got one little piece of work to do tomorrow, which I'll hammer out. And uh, it'll be in the issue after, which will be the God, September, October issue. God. September, no. No, this is the, no, that's the October issue. That, is that October? No, this is August. But, yeah. I think the one I'm working on now is the October. Wow. Not even September. Where the years go? Where the years go? <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. I, do you know what? Actually, I've got to be honest. It's been a bit of a shit year actually so far for me. You think? Yeah, it's been for me. It's been a bit of a shit year. Uh, I think it's, it's 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 been. I mean, I had a bad week last week, but I mean, it's been yeah. it's been okay. I've been. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm happy. Do you know what though? We're still alive. We're you know. We're still. Yeah, I still exactly. do want to love. And yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still wanting to do a lot more things. I'm still. Yeah. Still got things to do. You got to be. Yeah. Uh, you got to be um, gratitude yeah, in life. Of course. Be yeah. thankful in life. Isn't yeah. It? You know. Hundred yeah, percent. Cool. Right. Okay. Then, guys. On that positive note, um, as always, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification, notification. bell. And uh, that is it. So, with my main man, Big D, Derek Clark, in the house. And guys, keep on talking to one another. Yeah, keep on talking to them. Don't hold anything back. I mean, we've heard we've heard a couple of guys on now who said that you know talking to their coaches and yeah, and talking yeah. to talking to well, MP MP what was it the MP therapist the therapist, the therapist. Yeah, talk yeah, therapist you know I me mean, talk therapist guys keep on talking yeah this is what we need you know everybody has low points but you know keep on talking guys listen Come to Derek on. he's he's as wise as he is, as he is handsome <laughs> <laughs> okay then guys as always thank you for watching thank you for supporting and ladies and gentlemen we, we are, are out. out.